All right, the time has finally come. I know that for months you guys have been wanting me to put things in jars again. So here we are. We're putting things in jars again for 30 days. This time we're going to be putting things in jars full of gasoline. We've done gasoline once before. We're going to do it again. First thing that we're going to be putting in, in the jars is I have this paper towel that I have covered in a waterproofing spray. You can see that whenever I spray the paper towel, the water just runs right off of it. I'm really curious. I've seen uh, videos and stuff where people have like waterproofed paper towels and they put it in water and they'll pull it out and it'll be dry like a month or two months later. I'm curious to see if that same thing happens with gasoline or like if the gasoline is just gonna like eat right, eat the waterproofing right off or just, you know, see what's gonna happen. We'll put that in there. Next up, we are going to do two pieces of concrete block because I was at the store the other day and I noticed, well, I've noticed this before, but it just really, I really noticed that if you look anywhere where cars get parked normally, like where there's a parking brick, there's, the concrete is always has like big divots and it's always been like eaten away at where like cars pull up, they leak oil, they leak you know gas, diesel, all these different fluids is leaked on the concrete. It eats like these big craters in the concrete. So we're gonna leave this chunk or these two chunks of this cinder block inside of the gas and we'll see what happens. It, they could dissolve, nothing might happen. Who knows? Next, we're going to leave. I have this, we're gonna leave an epoxy stick in there, but I have this, which is an epoxy, an entire epoxy stick that I just kind of rolled into a ball and then let it harden. So this is like the finished product. And then, so we're gonna leave this in here, but then we're also gonna put just a raw stick in there that's still, you know, it's still soft, it hasn't been mixed, nothing like that. And then we're gonna see how those two uh, compare. You know, one might be eaten away or they, neither one of them might be affected or who knows. Next, we're going to leave a block of cheese just simply because why not? Oh, it's all wet. I can't get it open. Oh. Let's go, we'll just cut this like this. There we go. We'll put that inside the jar. And then last but not least, something I'm very, very curious about is this is the fireproof or fire resistant shirt that I used in that fire, uh, fire resistant clothing video. I'm going to cut a piece of this sleeve off and then we're gonna leave this in the gasoline. And I'm very, very curious to see if, what I wanna do with this is put it in the gasoline and then we'll pull it out of the gasoline, let it dry. And then if it doesn't like dissolve or do something crazy, cause it could, it, you know, it could just dissolve inside the jar or whatever. But if it doesn't, I would like to pull this thing out of the jar, let it, let all the gas evaporate off of it, let it dry and then test it just like we did the fireproof stuff, you know, hold a lighter to it, see if it, see if it loses its uh, fire resistance just from being soaked in gasoline or if it just dries up and it just ends up being completely fine. We'll put that in there. Now, let's get these jars filled up and let them sit. So all of our jars are full of gasoline. So I'm gonna let these sit. See you guys in 30 days. All right guys, so before we go any farther, this video was sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped has sent me their new performance package 4.0. So let's see what you get. First of all, you get the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. This thing has a 90 minute battery life. It is waterproof. It has the nice skin safe technology so you're not gonna cut yourself. It also has a nice LED so you can see what you're doing. And also new for the 4.0, that has what's called travel mode. So you can hit this button three times, then that's gonna lock it down. So you can put it inside of a bag or something and it's not gonna turn itself on. It also comes with this nice docking station that doubles as a wireless charger. So all you gotta do is throw it in the docking station and it starts charging. 
Also new for the 4.0, it comes with two different guards, so you can trim at two different lengths, which is extremely nice. You are also gonna get a bottle of ball toner. You will also be getting a bottle of ball deodorant. And also for a limited time with the Performance Package 4.0, you're gonna get two free gifts. One of those is going to be a pair of anti-chafing boxer briefs. And then you will also be getting a toiletry bag, which is very nice. So if you are interested in the Performance Package 4.0, or maybe you just want a new cologne, they have a really nice ear and nose hair trimmer, or maybe you just want a regular razor, you can check all this stuff out at the link in the top of my description. And if you use code TUBE, you will get 20% off plus free shipping. All right, so it has officially been 30 days since we put all of those things in the jars full of gasoline. Put on some safety glasses. First, we're gonna start off with the uh, waterproof paper towel. It's not uh, disintegrated or anything, so that, I would say that's a good sign. Ew. But it has clearly absorbed the gas. Hmm. Okay, so since it clearly absorbed the gas, let's do this just to... Uh, Wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was kind of... Well, no, it, it just goes right through. I was thinking it was kind of being repelled a little bit. But not really. It just kind of... Yeah, you can see there. It just kind of leaks right through. So, I guess the gasoline ate off the waterproofing or, well, that's all that it could have done. It ate off the waterproofing or dissolved it or whatever. Now that's interesting. The paper towel, the, like, the strength of the paper towel doesn't seem to be affected. I have a normal paper, paper, a normal paper towel here to compare. That seems very, very close. This is, this is stronger than, this has more strength than just like a paper towel that would have been soaked in water. A paper towel soaked in water would have just like ripped really easily. How you would describe it? I guess the waterproofing kind of like, I, I don't even know, kept the dexterity of the paper towel. I don't know how to, how to explain that. It's interesting. Um, what we're gonna do with this is I'm going to hang this up and we're gonna do this with a few of the items, but I'm gonna uh, hang them up and let them dry. We'll see uh, how they have been affected once all the gasoline evaporates off. And then in about 24 hours, we'll do, we'll see if it's still waterproof and we'll, we'll do a couple other tests with it. But so far, it's interesting. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the other thing that we will be leaving out to let the gasoline evaporate off of and see how it, how it is affected the I don't, I don't know if it was pants or a t-shirt. Oh, okay, it was a piece of a, like a little piece of a sleeve. <coughs> that gasoline is strong. So let's see. Oh, that is interesting. If you guys remember, whenever I did this with, I left clothes in bleach. Those clothes that I left in bleach, just, I mean, you could just literally sit here and just peel them completely apart, just like nothing happened. Um, I, I truly kind of expected that to happen with this, but not at all. This is still, I could probably rip it if I tried really hard, but this is still very strong. Wow, it actually absorbed quite a bit of gasoline. So with this, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hang this up with the paper towel and we're gonna let all of the gasoline evaporate off of this. And then we're gonna try this again, just like we did the other, um, fire resistant clothes and we're gonna see if being soaked in gasoline affected the fire resistance. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the jar that had the, J the not JB Weld, maybe it was JB Weld, but it was the epoxy, the epoxy stick and then the epoxy, like a, I think I made a ball out of it. Oh. The epoxy stick seems to have... Oh. 
That's interesting. Oh, I do not want to splash this everywhere. Can you can you just work with me? I'm trying not to get gasoline everywhere. You want to get gasoline everywhere. Let's make a compromise and not get gasoline everywhere. There we go. So, in the bottom of the jar, it looks like a like the outside layer or something got got like shed it off of the stick. And the stick has this weird, like, the outside layer, it's almost like it has three layers. It has like this layer right here, but then under that layer, it has this weird texture that almost looks like a, honestly, it almost looks like a brain with all the little wrinkles and stuff. But then it also still has this inner layer that's like the second part that looks like a, it looks like a cream filling, <laughs> but it's uh, the second part of the epoxy. It almost has like a yellow, like something yellow right there. This outside coating is also kind of like, it's not hardened, but it's a little, I don't know, crispy, I guess you could, you could almost say. I almost wish this would like mix together so we could see if it would like harden up or not. Uh, actually, you might actually be able to mix that up. Because when I, when I started mixing it, hold on, this might be something crazy. This might be something really crazy. Let's just kind of mix this up right here. Because it's as I'm mixing this up, it's putting off that like really weird, nasty epoxy smell that it puts off whenever you normally mix it up. All right, I'm gonna find a piece of cardboard to put this on. I'm gonna let this sit, and tomorrow, whenever I do the rest of the stuff, I will update you about uh, how this turns out. All right, so now, let's focus on this, which is like that ball. Let's see if we can, I don't know, crack it open or do something. It's actually kinda of feels a little bit soft. Every time I hit it, it sprays gas. I'm gonna just move that over. don't think it has been affected. This could be a long shot, but I have the uh, Ginsu knife from that video, if you guys saw that one. Or if maybe we can cut it. Okay, I think that it is very apparent. For some reason I was thinking that maybe it would be soft on the inside still because of the gas or something. That was probably a dumb assumption. I don't think anything's happened to it, and I don't think the gas really affected it. And if it did, I would say it probably just affected it on this, like, outside layer, but other than that, I mean, it's solid as a rock. So, I don't think gasoline affects epoxy. All right, next, let's go ahead and take a look at the cinder block. It doesn't look like anything's happened to. Which, I don't know. I was going to say that's surprising, but honestly, kind of not really. All right, let's take a look at that piece. Got that piece. Oh, okay. Was that just, was that just lucky? Maybe that was just lucky, I guess? It doesn't seem to be any more brittle. No, okay. So that was just lucky. So, bas so basically, absolutely nothing happened to the concrete. Or maybe it was already kind of a little bit weak there and then I was just able to break it. But, I kind of, a part of me wanted to like open this jar and then just see this concrete just like completely dissolved into like a pile of just like little fine like gravel. Obviously that is not the case. Maybe some parts of it are weaker. Although I wonder if that's from, from the gasoline or if that's just because it was 
you know, in some type of a liquid for that long. I would lean to more towards that's just because it was in that, that some type of a liquid for this long. I don't think there's anything really worth uh, looking into here. So we will put those back. And now let's move on to the cheese. Which I'm actually surprised is still pretty much in block form. I fully expected this to be just like liquefied and like not even in one piece or be like melted in the bottom of the jar or something. Ew. What is that? So the cheese was sitting like this in the jar. So all this stuff at the bottom, it's like hanging off of it. Is this like fat or something? That's just like been condensed down to the bottom? <coughs> it doesn't smell like cheese anymore. It just smells like gasoline. The like consistency is still just like cheese. Like it's not, I figured it would be like really like you know, squishy and just like mushy and almost like, I can't think of any, I can't think off the top of my head something that I've put in another liquid that was just like condensed to like, almost like a, just like a paste. I kind of, that's what I expected out of this, but that's really not what's happened at all. I'll leave a couple pieces out where they can dry overnight and then I'll leave some of it in the jar and then we will uh, compare them tomorrow and we'll, for whatever reason, we'll see whatever happens. All right, so it has actually been about two days this, uh, the paper towel and this sleeve actually took a lot longer to dry out than I thought. I figured it would just be like, not even 24 hours, I thought it would be maybe just a few hours. But it took probably 30 hours or so before it actually got like actual dry. So, now that this paper towel is dry, all the gases evaporated, it feels much different. It kind of feels more like flaky than it was before. Let's see if we retained any of that uh, waterproofness. No way. It actually did, a little bit, not all of it. I don't like how this spout kinda sucks. You can see here, it's wet on this side, and it's really not wet hardly at all on this side. Let me get a regular paper towel. You can see that a normal paper towel, if it was to get wet, and then you were to rip it, it just like shreds apart really easy. This, even though it's wet, it's still Mm, actually, I guess it's not that much different. I'm actually very impressed with that. It's not like you didn't hold 100% of the water proofingness or whatever, but it definitely held up a little bit and it definitely didn't all go away, which is impressive. Even 30 days in gas, that uh, waterproofing spray still holds up. All right, so now let's check out the sleeve. Now, one thing I forgot to mention about that paper towel is that the paper towel had absolutely no smell to it, had no smell of gasoline whatsoever. It just smelled like a regular paper towel. This sleeve smells disgusting, like some super strong chemical concoction. <sighs> now, I'm almost kind of, for some reason, I'm almost kind of nervous to light it just because it was soaked in gas. It's gonna, is anything gonna happen? Really? It's maintained, I think it's maintained its uh, fire resistance. Yeah, look at that. Let me get the original one. This is the shirt that we cut that off of. Yeah, here's the sleeve that we cut this off of. Let's light this. I can see it's starting to get kind of dark. As soon as you pull the flame away, it just goes out. Ow, this thing's getting hot. Mm. Actually, you know what, forget the lighter. Let's just move straight onto the blowtorch. I don't need a lighter. So, Here's the original one. Not wa not washed, not soaked in gas, nothing. Okay. Flame hell. After I pulled the torch away, the flame stayed there for, what, one second maybe? That is the exact same performance. That is absolutely crazy. 30 days soaked in gasoline 
and it didn't even affect the affect it at all. That's crazy. Oh, still one out. I am blown away by that. I think that the one that was soaked in gasoline, it not only does it go out just as fast, it seems to smoke less than this. Maybe that was just all in, all in my head. Maybe they smoked the same amount. That's still crazy. I'm super impressed with that. I would have I would have never guessed that in a million years. I would have thought that 30 days soaked in gasoline, for one, I expected the fabric to be like just brittle and just like be able to just pull apart, no problem. And then if that didn't happen, I at least expected it to just like, just go up in flames just like a regular cotton shirt. I would have never expected it to maintain so much of the fire resistance. That is absolutely crazy. All right, and the last thing that we're gonna do to wrap this video up is we're going to pull some of this cheese back out of this gasoline and we're gonna light it on fire. And we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, let's put that right there. So I'm gonna leave you guys with this. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And let's see what happens. This is actually not as exciting as I thought. Huh. I kind of, I really expected that cheese to like melt and not just like burn. So, pretty interesting. So, see you guys in the next one.